Would you like to know the 10 best IT certifications that'll build your brand and boost your career? If so, this video is for you. Hi, my name is Mike Gibbs, and I'm the founder and CEO of GoCloud Careers. And I've been an IT architect now for over 25 years a network architect, an enterprise architect, a business architect. If there's an architect role, I've held it. But I've also spent two decades helping people just like you get your first tech job, get promoted in tech, and build really amazing technology careers. And people always ask me about certifications, and I have my 10 favorite. And in this video, we're gonna talk about my 10 favorite certifications, why I picked them, and what each one will do for your career. I will go through some certifications in networking first, then security, then cloud, and then some other ones as well. So my two favorite certifications in the entire world are the Cisco Certified Internet Expert and the Cisco Certified Design Expert, and I'll explain what they are. These are two networking certifications from Cisco. And while they are Cisco certifications, they're more of a networking certification and the lessons you learn in either one of these will work across all networks, across all cloud providers and across all networking manufacturers. I'll begin with the CCIE, which was one of the first certifications I did in my career. My CCIE number is 7417. Here's what I love about the CCIE. You have to know a lot to pass the CCIE and employers know it. What does this mean? It means if you have made it through the CCIE, you will have the brand recognition that's gonna help you get uh, network engineer and network architect interviews. And in many cases, or at least three quarters of the cases, you will have the skill out of the CCIE to get a network engineering job. And there's no other certification in the world that I say is 75% likely to get you a network engineering job. The CCIE covers deep fundamentals. It requires a tremendous amount of knowledge to get. And that knowledge is good, strong knowledge. Those fundamentals you will use for the rest of your career. I like to say that my CCIE was my intro to networking because as soon as I passed it, instantly I got put on these big, these terrifying projects and I learned more than I ever would have imagined after the CCIE. But that CCIE got me a job. It got me a top 2% income job. And I only built my career from there. So the Cisco Certified Internet Expert or the CCIE is my favorite for that reason. It's probably one of the two hardest certifications in the world, which means that after uh, 30 years of people attempting the exam, there's only about 70,000 people or less that have passed it. So it puts you in the elite few. And for that reason, the CCIE is my favorite. Now the next one down is the Cisco Certified Design Expert, and this is another expert exam. It's more designed for system designers, design engineers, uh, technical solutions architects versus the more businessy oriented solutions architect. And this is a design exam, an exam where you have to design an architecture based upon a given scenario. You have to design it, print it back, uh, defend it. So again, an expert level certification incredibly challenging to do. Very few people will ever attempt it, let alone pass it. And if it's on your resume, that's kind of a gold stamp to employers that says, really likely to know something and I need to talk to this person. So those two certifications provide competency and brand value. Now, when I like certifications, I either look for them to get you an interview, and some of the certifications below will talk that, or I look at certifications that will get you an interview and give you the skills to be hired. The CCIE, the CCDE, they give you both in many cases. So ding, 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 they're my two favorite. Now the next certifications are gonna come from security. My favorite of the security is the CISSP certification. Now the CISSP certification is a deep professional level security certification. It's one that I took many years ago. I loved it. It really covers every aspect of security whether it be network security, data loss prevention, security governance, legal access aspects of security, security in, in, in the application, architect, everything. It is a beautiful certification. That's my top pick. And it's my top pick for the following. 
I've trained many people with the CISSP certification, yes, without the five years requisite experience, and they took the exam and they got be, it became an ISC, so ISC squared associate by passing the exam. And I've taken so many people that have had this, they get an incredible amount of interviews, and many of them, if they've got the right skills besides this, also get hired, and it is wonderful. So I love the CISSP. You will obtain competency. You may obtain 20% or more, maybe 25% of the security knowledge you would need as a security architect straight in that CISSP. It is not vendor proprietary, so it does not induce bias. It is a beautiful security architect certification, and it has wonders in terms of knowledge and the ability to get an interview. The next one I actually have, and I kind of struggle with it, which is my next favorite one. It's either the CIS one or the CCSP one, and I'll explain to you the difference. The CIS one is a management-oriented security certification. It covers many of the business things that management cares about, a lot of the business metrics, about things that are necessary to run a business and security respond to incidents. And it is a great certification for the manager or the architect because it's very businessy focused. Again, this is a certification that will get you interviews. And it'll give you 15 to 20% of those skills that you need for a job. And coming out of a certification, if you can get 15%, it is a lot. So CISM, definitely in my top 10 for those reasons. Great framework of security from a business perspective. The next one on my list is the CCSP. Now, this is a cloud security professional certification from the ISC squared. It is kind of like a skinny version of the CISSP, but it is intensely focused on cloud and cloud security and all the complexities of being in the cloud. I actually almost think it's a nice combination with the CISSP. The CISSP is kind of everything in cybersecurity. Uh, that's pretty wide and not super deep. The CCSP is really focused on cloud. So again, a great certification. You will get some cloud security knowledge and some cybersecurity knowledge. Again, it is uh, non-vendor proprietary, so there's no bias you're going to gain. And again, it looks good to employers, and you're going to get some skills out of it. So my next three are in cloud. Now, I'm going to tell you the three certifications that we talk about. They will do wonders for your brand. They will also get you interviews, which makes them magical. Now, in these following certifications, unfortunately, they're not going to give you any of the skills that you would need to say be a cloud architect or a solutions architect. And they're going to be very limited on what they would do for an engineer. And this is the eight, but they will get you interviews. So if your training regimen includes this, will you learn all the skills necessary for your job and then use these nice, powerful certifications to build your brand and get an interview? These certifications will get you that interview, but make sure you get your cloud training somewhere else so you're able to work. And under this category falls the AWS Solutions Architect Professional, the Google Professional Cloud Architect, and the Azure Solutions Architect Expert. Now, these exams are very good at getting you very familiar with the vendor services. It teaches you the name of the services and how to configure that services. What's lacking from these certifications that makes them engineering worthy or architect worthy is as follows. They don't really explain how any of the underlying technology works. And they also don't really talk about how do you put the technology together. But if you don't understand the underlying infrastructure and how it works, you're not able to truly design it. So these are really good certifications for people that have strong network and data center knowledge already that are trying to learn how to do those things that they've known about for a long time on the cloud. Or this is great for people that are going to a training program and they're learning all the things that are necessary for their job. And then they're using this to polish off the resume and get them interviewed. So very nice certification for those reasons. But this is a brand building certification, not a knowledge certification. The next two certifications are the PMP for project managers. This uh, is a very good certification. Uh, project managers obviously need a lot of set of skills that are outside of the PMP certification, but Having a good certification can help you get an interview. It can build your brand. And a lot of people prefer PMP certified project managers. So this is another one of those cases where there's some skills to be gained here that a project manager might need, a small percentage of them. But it is huge on getting people interviews, especially people that want to be project managers. I can recommend it for that reason. Now, 
The last one is recently added to my top 10 list. It was not for decades, and I'll explain why I added it here. It's actually the Tolgaf 10. And the Tolgaf is an architecture framework, much like the Azakman framework. And the reason I've switched my position on a now rank Tolgaf 10 is in the world of architecture certifications, there's almost none. We have the cloud providers, for example, like the AWS Solutions Architect Professional, and they teach the name of a service and how to configure that, which is administration, not architecture. So we're not getting anything there. With the exception of the CCDE, which is an actual design engineer or design expert certification, semi-architect like, like technical architecture like, there's really nothing there. And most technology projects actually fail, meaning seven out of 10, because the technology, people are designing the system based on their technology preferences, and they need to be focused on solving technology from a business pro pro process perspective and a business problem perspective. So the TOGAF is an architecture framework that says, if you have to design an architecture, step one, step two, step three, step four, step five, there's no instruction on architecture, but it is an architecture framework based upon how do you get business results? And businesses are waking up and saying more and more, we need better business results from our technology. It's also one of the very few architecture certifications that are out there. And since I tend to work with a lot of architects and I typically look for two to three strong certifications, sometimes TOGAF 10 fits into the framework. So for those reasons, I like it. I also like TOGAF 10 for people that are trying to become architects because of the following reason. When they see what is actually in TOGAF 10 and they understand what's necessary to speak to the executives to find the vision for their business and map out and understand an organizational business process and then think about re-architecting business processes and thinking about evaluating their or the customer's technology platform and thinking about how you would lead an architecture team and what goes into that team and how would you document this team for a group of people to design an architecture. And then to think about the types of governance strategies that are necessary in stakeholder management and how would you deal with change? When a wannabe architect once goes into this TOGAF 10, they get to realize that architecture is not engineering. And it keeps them very focused on learning the right set of skills and going out there and focusing on their presentation skills or their sales skills or their executive presence, or their business acumen. And sometimes in a world where technology careers are sparsely understood, something that keeps you going like a roadmap can be also good. So that's why these are my 10 favorite certifications. I'll recap. And the networking, the Cisco Certified Internet Expert, CCIE, and the Cisco Certified Design Expert, my two favorites. On the security side, the CISSP, the CISM, and the CCSP. In the cloud computing side, it is the AWS Solutions Architect Professional, the Google Professional Cloud Architect, and the Azure Solutions Architect Expert. For project and program managers, it is the PMP certification. And for architects, in addition to something like uh, a cloud certification, I typically, and, uh, I typically like a uh, TOGAF certification. So they're my favorite 10 and why they're ranked in my favorite 10. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell to be notified of new videos that can help you in your technology career. If you want to become a cloud architect or an AI architect or a security architect or an enterprise architect, we have free webinars and free e-guides to assist you in your technology career. They're all free. You can sign up in the link in the description of this video. This is Mike Gibbs signing off for now, and I hope to see you in another video or a free webinar on Zoom where we can actually talk face-to-face very soon. Take care, everyone.